Welcome back. Like I teased earlier, I have one amazing Mr. Excellent Mutali. Mr. Excellent Mutali is visually impaired, but very, very talented. Hi. Hi. Karibu sana, Mr. Excellent. Mm, How are you feeling this morning? Um, I'm okay, I thank God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How has your week been so far? Um, it has been quite busy, mm -hmm. but I hung out because everything's running on smoothly. Mm -hmm. I can't complain. You cannot complain. Yeah. Karibu sana kwenye show. Asante. Who is Mr. Excellent Mutali? Um, okay, my name is Gadiel Excellent Mutali um, from Kakamega County, Likwieni Constituency Sango Ward, but I'm a student right now at Tangaza University. Uh, basically, that's, that's what I can say uh, concerning maybe my background, where I come from. Mm -hmm and uh, who I am. And mm -hmm. I'm also a gospel musician mm -hmm. and a minister of the gospel. I preach and I also preach through, mm -hmm. okay, I preach and I also spread the gospel through music. Music. Yeah. Mr. Excellent, yes. you were born with complete eyesight. Yeah, I was okay. Mm -hmm. What happened in through the journey? My story is quite complicated. Um, okay, when I, was bo as a, uh, when I was born back in 1986, my mom was still a student and my father was uh, so much learned. So my grandfather, uh, like my father couldn't marry my mom because my father was learned, my More mom wasn't. Mom. Okay. Yeah. So I had to spend some years with the mom maybe for breastfeeding and in uh, Kachukua two years na mom. Then later, Babangu, I can say Aliniba because Alinipata to Barabarani Kule gave me some biscuits, bread, Akanichukua. <laughs> we came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So when I was growing up, uh, I realized that one of my eyes was blind, the left eye. But uh, because I was young and the right one was okay, see, could you come an issue? Uh, everybody, every human being has got two eyes, but only one functions. So later on in 2001, uh, my dad akafanikiwa kupata mke. So a stepmom, tuko na kama kina akibera. Uh, I can say life is quite challenging Kidogo. Uh, I took off my na sana na, na mom. Mm -hmm. uh, so later in 2004, Lena Kutembe had reserve and I mean Katalia Kule reserve for my uncle. Mm -hmm. So I had At this to, point, was your mother looking for you? My mom got alkwa. You just walk out in your corner, see me, walk on a nini. So I had you see see how much I is maybe. Mustuaka alipotea na alipo na wazi. Alipotea tu. Although later I lived with my mom, I didn't chukua. But that's how I couldn't belong here. You see, family like in my mom, you know, they were like they are called tachonis, eh? Watu wale wako na kiburi fulani hivi. So, okay, mua, mua. Wa mua, mua. And then, uh, ulikuwa well off. So, wakuna vile mamangu wange fight na wawo. Mm -hmm. Because kama ni pesa walikuwa na yon. Anajua in this country. Kama wakuna mm -hmm. mwoni. <laughs> uh -huh. So, in 2004, uh, nikabake nyumbani. Nikasoma kule and then, tukafanikio kunua shamba. So, my step mama kabidi ya rudi nyumbani. Na nikaingia shule kule nyumbani. Uh -huh. uh, uh, because hapo katikati mambo ilifanyika mengi sana, let me uh, move to 2009. Na kumuka 2009, April 12, nilikuwa nimetoka shuleni, uh, uh, tuition. At this time, you still see with just one Nikona eye. Nikona mmoja, inaona vizuri sana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Surprisingly, up to this point, even my, my own dad, ajiju kama macho yangu, hii jichwa langu mmoja halioni. What? Alikuwa ajiju, because ukiniangalia, nikitawa miweni ukiniangalia, maybe, maybe uniangalia vizuri, utajua like, wezi jiwa raisi. Uh -huh. So he thought I was okay, ya kujua kabisa. Uh -huh. uh, nikawa nimetoka shule, nikaenda maji, nikuwa nenda maji na baisikeli. Atuko tuwafanikia kuchota wa kuchimba kisima kwetu. Uh -huh. So, nikakuwa na 20 liters tattoo. I was, I think, 12, at that time, and I was in class 7, in 2009. So nikiwa ninafunga ma, niki, niki, niki na shota mazi, I met my, my mom, my step mom, mm -hmm. kwa barabara, kana mbia warakishe, nisifike nyumbani mbele yako. So because nilikuwa na mogopa sana, nikawa na ile ya rakaraka, nika chota mazi mbio mbio, nikaanza kufunga. So I wasn't careful, kwa angala ile kamba, blada, unajua ile blada, kama yuko sawa. So nikiwa ni meivruta hivi na funga mazi, kumbe ilikuwa ime crack bahati mbaya. Mm -hmm. Ika katika na ikanipiga into the right eye, ndani, on the spot, ikazima. It was so painful, nikaanguka pole chini, basikeli huko, mitungi huko, kisima sijefunga, I just, nikaanguka tawabu karibu na kisima, but mungu wali nisaidia siku tumbikia ndani. Uh, it was around satisa, nikakaa paka six, maada kakuja zijuini ya nakugombana, oh, nimekutuma mazu, nimekuja kucheza, so haa kujua nini mehapen. What happened? Yeah, nikamambe mimi machangu ya mezima, nimepigwe na mbada kwa macho, I can't see anymore. Sasa nanembia, funga yu macho nye imeumia, tumia nyingine. Nikaambi ingini tangu kitamba hayo nangi. Akanambia maybe, akadhani maybe I was joking. Like nikama nikwana, 
as in kama maybe na najaribu avoid kazi yeah. na vitu kama hiyo yeah. it was on a monday so tuesday asubuhi akaondoka akaniambia ikifika lunch time enda mazi ya ngombe nikamba mama mimi sioni kabisa akaniambia kuna unaona tumia hii macho nyingine funga hii nyingine sijapewa pain kila paka hiyo time sijaenda kwa hospitali niko tu mm. so what i did ikafika hiyo time nikachukua my younger sister alikuwa 60 years by then nikachukua mtu mwingine mmoja kwa my right hand na yingine akani guide hadi kwa kisima tena Uh, nikienda nikachatoa maji kwa bahati mzuri na jirani pale nikabeba nikakuja nikapea ngombe so nikakaa kwa hiyo hali tu monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday no pain killer no dispensary zienda niko tu so on sunday grandfather wangu said ya mama sasa because tulikuwa tuko in the same village actually mm-hmm. akawa anapita na alikuwa amezoea akipita wa alikuwa tu ana wave uh, si rahisi aongee so nilikuwa nimekaa pale nje is like ali wave lakini hakuwa na response mm-hmm. so ilibidi aniite wakati alinita hivi nikasikia ile pain like wanajua ile uchungu fulani from the heart yeah, yeah nikaanza kule ni kama mimi mguka mimi macho imeenda sioni so yeye alinichukua akanipeleka kwa dispensary kufika dispensary ni waliniangalia hivyo akasema no this is is he to maybe try my referral hospital so that's when my mom akapigia babangu simu sasa akajua kwa serious akona sasa akajua kumbe mambo iko serious mm-hmm. so he called my dad on the very day monday tukaenda my referral nikatibiwa 3 days nikaambiwa nazo zangu zimekufa nerves so hata operation is this idea so there is nothing we could do about it even niliambiwa na daktari dr za mori faro so on the same same day tuka travel paka sabati anajua sabati kwa vihiga mm-hmm. eye hospital uh, it is one of the best um, uh, kwa mambo ya kutibu macho in kenya in sabati ya nikatibiwa the first day nikapewa dawa nikaambiwa nirudi after 7 days mm-hmm. Uh, nikameza dawa nikameza but there was no improvement at this time nilikuwa so like naona mimi my misless yeye yes, sijawahi jua sije nilikuwa na ngatu watu waoni streets they uh, begging for money yeah. so nikajaribu ku imagine siko najua kama wanaweza soma nikajaribu nikijaribu ku imagine your life na like i'm just useless mm-hmm. so nilikuwa nime give up and uh, i can say nilijaribu suicide by the way but it failed so on the seventh day kurudi hata siku wako nichukua ati kunipima nini walinipeleka hata kwa karum fulani hivi Uh, I remember that uh, that lady alikuwa mwanamke maana sauti yake nilishika sana akaniambia excellent macho yako hata uende America you will never see reason being your nerves mm-hmm. are dead and there is no way we can resurrect them even an operation cannot help you so wewe uwe ni kipofu kubali wewe ni kipofu na uishi kama kipofu at this How, point were you able to ulikuwa able to communicate your thoughts and feelings like to your parents nilikuwa like unashana na ile point like you are just hauna kitu unadafanya hawezi ongea kitu uko tu na mawazo sikuli niko tu si yani hata nataka tunikuwe peke yangu just to be alone nataka tunikuwe yani ukiongelesha hata vigoje kuna comfort na tu kama una nipige kelele so nilikuwa tu nimenyamaza but those words were so painful na zile ni hit sana so that very day but babanga ku give up bado we came to Nairobi tukaenda gikuyu gikuyu akaneka kwa machine akaniambia hii bro the same same thing it can easy easy uh, but yeye tata akaniambia okay okay tuka give up sasa na hiyo tukaenda pia na Zarina kama kwa tulenda na Zarina it is a private hospital mhm wakaniambia haiwezi so tuka give up tuka na there is no hope and um e time nilikuwa niko yani niko na mochungu okay kuna kwa kulikuwa na challenges nilikuwa napitia na, na, na my mom mm-hmm. na sipo na my ambe budangu because also na alikuwa amenifanya nimeogopa yeah yeah so at this time nilikuwa na feel ni kama yeye alikuwa responsible for me you know losing eh yeah. because nilikumbuka yeye aliniambia oh ukifika nyumbani nikifika mbele yako itakuwa sasa nilikuwa ni kama yeye iko niarakisha ndio ile course hii ni tuzote that maybe you felt like she should have yeah, taken you to hospital yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, because hakuna kitu ilifanyika hakuna hata kweni kila nilipewa mm-hmm. kwamba ninaambiwa najifanya like ilikuwa tu like no eh, so nika open up kwa my dad nika mimi dad sijakuwa sawa so far sijakuwa poa okay sita sama zaidi vile mambo yalifanyika after that mm-hmm. eh, between yeye na mama but uh, even ilikuwa so babangu anafanya book house international school mm-hmm. uh, one of his friends his workmen saka mwambie there's a hospital called lions kangemi mm-hmm. maybe ujaribu kuona utakwambia namna gani so tukaenda kangemi lions uh, tukapata daktari muhindi he was the first man to ever encourage me during that season mm-hmm. akanambia mr excellent we can only treat you but god is the one who heals can you store the eyesight yeah akanambia sisi tutafanya tu our best we'll try our best but mambo ya kupona we can't assure you ni mungu atafanya nini kama atakuponya ni sawa but we'll try our best life is a very expensive hospital mm-hmm. so tukatibiwa kule for some months but there was no improvement 
sikuwa na any improvement na naona tu ni kama uh, but because sasa at this time ilikuwa na babangu sasa at least ile like ile sasa ni mwanza ku recover from ile ka depression na mawazo mingi sasa ni mwanza kutulia kidogo because I was with my dad uh kati so you were in school no shule miss mama okay. shule miss mama because sasa ni matibabu tu tunazunguka huko na kule uh, mimi mwenyewe nataka kwanza sijui kama kuna wanga na shule ya blind nilisikia kwa daktari ananiambia kuna wanga na shule za blind you, you go line braille then go with the studies so in cotton miss mama shule bado and also unajua kama ina effect sana because i remember in primary school I was so bright from class 4 was jawai kwa number 2 I've been always number the one, head. number one. So ni likuwa na visions, ni likuwa na dreams kubwa kubwa. Then there's this uncle of, of mine, uh, uh, PNN, alikuwa na ibuwa ito, panga a major in the, in the Air Force. So ni likuwa na mwana, at times, anakuja nyumbani na chopa, sana admire. Sana kasa manga, I want to be in the Air Force, I want to be a pilot. Mm-hmm. Sasa ni kijarabu kimoji, na kanao longa be a pilot. And I feel like, maybe sasa, there's no, e life haina meaning, kabisa, it is meaningless. Mm-hmm. Uh, siku moja nilikuwa natamani nipate dakika kama tano peke yangu tu lazima ikiwa tu peke yangu nijue yani hiyo ni muona like nimefika mwisho lakini hakuna siku nimeji kukuta peke yangu like but siku moja ika happen nikabaki peke yangu and because i'm blind unajua sasa sijui nyumba inakaje okay. uh, nikapapasa papasa kwa kitana nikapata tai sasa nikajaribu ku kujinyonga kujinyonga nikakata niko bado na struggle na nikasikia footsteps nakuja nikatoa nikaeka hapo it was my dad ah uh, kujua anything but alijua like mtu angeniangalia angejua this guy ako so much depressed na i see advice about coach peke yake mm-hmm. so in 2010 uh, because of there's no hope ndo nikaambiwa na daktari mmoja kwamba just go to a special school we can learn braille and then and alafu ndele na masomo yako although you'll have to change your dream because you can't be a pilot anymore mm-hmm. so utafuta kitu kingine akofa akofanya so ni kenda st francis Kapenguria so it was in Francis School for the Blind mm-hmm. Kapenguria was spoken ni kama kujifunza braille braille ni kusoma na vidole yes, yes. i took six months learning braille mungu akanisaidia nikajua uh, na pia apart from being a school ni kama some sort of rehabilitation center you like oh. they guide you mm-hmm. uh, because wanaelewa mtu akisha unjua me okay i always say ni father limtu zaliwe na ulemavu because utatoka utotoni kama uko na hiyo hali so utaizoea you are you already born knowing that this is who you are yeah unajua i'm blind i'm, I'm crippled nini so it won't no it won't it won't have that negative effect on you so much like uh uko sawa tu but kama umeanza kukua tu sawa maybe ulikuwa sawa kimwili then baadaye you lose one of your body organs ama una kwa deformity na kuanga so painful Yeah so nikajifunza braille and uh, I thank God because at, I, at what head space were you hiyo uh, wakati umeingia school Nazasema I was beginning to recover but uh, sikuwa sawa bado uh-huh. sana but at least nilikuwa na okay you see the fact that um, I I now understood I can still learn uh-huh. and uh, okay pursue maybe my career no although sit kwa bado pilot at least it need some hope uh-huh. nikajua oh kumbe they are not just beggars in the streets you can go study and uh, become someone you know yes, important yes. in life mm-hmm. so you you can you can you can like in a in a team but, but now imagining you've been uh, able to see you could do some things you know for yourself and by yourself you could kuangalia tu rembo tu wa dunia alafu you can no longer see that unaona bado kuna vile nakusumbua unajaribu ku imagine like maybe you're talking to your mommy I don't know I can't see my mom's face. Them, yeah. Uh, yeah, my sister, my siblings, wengine wamezaliwa wakati sana nishaka blind. Na jaribu kumaji anafanana namna gani? At the time, uh, what was what was your mother's reaction when everything happened? Um mamangu mzazi or my stepmom? Your mother, mama kwa mzazi. Okay. Uh to, to, you two were nine wakati nilipoteza macho kuna wakati nirudi nyumbani na they came to visit me actually na my grandmother. Uh-huh. Ile ilikuwa mara ya you know as nimemwona mamangu nikiwa mkubwa. Let me say that so uh the kuja na ya ka explain sasa vizuri what happened to my left eye uh ilikuwa na muma sana it was so painful to her for her but sasa unajua alishapata alioleka tayari kwa goma nyingine uh-huh. yeah akaniambia when i was uh, two years nilikuwa nacheza na i was playing with the other kids and then it happened kwamba nikadungwa kijiti kwa macho and then akanitibu na kidawa kienyeji miti shamba hiyo so they thought i was okay Oh yeah my mama kabani was okay so wakati hata yeye alikuja ikam shock kwamba mmesi kupona the left eye so alikuwa na feel kuna kaleka guilt una feel na nini mm-hmm. but uh, i thank god because uh, mungu alitusaidia tuka reunite mm-hmm. nikakao sawa so back to st francis yes. nikiwa shuleni kule god helped me so much uh, 
brains come if you have good brains you just have good brains yes. it doesn't matter maybe whether you lose one of your body organs or whatever you're still I, smart yeah you're still address. smart yeah so uh people used to tell me that you're a singer you can see you sing very well in the assembly grounds or parade i used to be in the in the, in the choirs uh we're knocking around nine but two so I remember you are, you are a good singer some no no is in church to because sick about the me from kamacho like sick when i joke with any members but it didn't want to come here too so it is a video to come across so much too much for my school so there's this one time my dad asked me what do you want to become mm-hmm. when you finish school then you want to go pilot kumbuka so i can't see me after you yeah and then i can't get life in the pt i'm going to come out painful when i went to st francis I realized kwamba there are some parents ambao wanakuja na the blind uh, children mm-hmm. wanaweka hapo na ile itakuwa mara ya kwanza na mshoko yeah, kuna mzazi so they come and dump the the kids oh, there and they never come they back never come back so nikaangalia hii maisha it's like it's not fair so nikataka ni kwa lawyer the reason being ni kuja nifunge kwanza watu wamenisumbua wamenifanya nimeumia <laughs> na pia watu wanazin ku fight for the uh, person with disability yeah, yes yes so nikasema I'll be a lawyer I'll become a lawyer wow not because I had passion for law but because i was you know i was niko nataka to take revenge you have a mission yeah i have a mission no no sadi niko nataka ni sadi niko na passion yellow sana so i told my dad I want to be come a lawyer and come back kufanya in in mapema what is, okay what am i supposed to have maybe if i am to study law can be how to be good in languages nini nini and i was so good in nilikuwa naeka bd because nataka one day you need to arrange. yeah i need to i need to do something uh-huh. uh mungu kana saidia in 2012 because uh, okay kumbuka in 2007 i was in class 7 but mm. because of um, the, the 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 condition nika back in my so i went back to class yeah, officially of yeah i went back to class officially in 2011 mm-hmm. mama tunitena was learning braille mm-hmm. so 2012 i set for my kcpe exams and i passed and in part 3 uh, 77 wow. i went to nakuru high school nilitoa nili, okay nilitoa St Joseph's Kitale you know the school mm-hmm. but i was nilikuwa i was in love with Nakuru high school mm-hmm. maybe say that mm-hmm. yeah my mission in ile ile to and to be a lawyer, a lawyer. and to be in a good school mm-hmm. and to make sure i become a, by all means mm-hmm. how was the transition from coming from a special needs school to now a kawaida high school uh okay Nakuru high was a, is okay actually today it is the it is the only national school in Kenya that is integrated Mm-hmm. the only one in the in the 209 with the first visually impaired student 2009 mm-hmm. so nilikuwa nimejua kama it is a national school na it offers services for those with visual Special impairment needs, yes. yeah so nilijua kwa sawa it was a just integrated school but it was oh, okay okay yeah so i joined nakuru high my okay my relationship with my dad in primary school was so much okay mm-hmm. but when i joined high school mm-hmm. i don't know what happened i remember nilijua in 2013 and then after one week kafunga shule because of elections Uh, from up on and come up there's something wrong because with my dad we no longer took what and up so it come up with affect but kumbaka i have not recovered completely from yeah. from losing my eyes yes, yes. i love you there's this something mm. other, something else coming up now the only person who has been there yeah that's why usia nangu na imanda kwa rebecca so you can imagine the trauma it mm-hmm. in my mind so i became one very bitter person all through my high school life I was just bitter mimi ndio msemi nisikoe tamani kuna nyumbani Mm-hmm. Ndama tuko tu shule January to January. Nikisikia kufunga shule na scared like now where am I going? What am I going to do at home? Mm-hmm. Nana. Did yeah. you ever find out what happened? What changed? I don't know. I don't, okay, so do but um I also don't want to blame so much my enemy, my my step mom but niko na hiyo wakati niko na nanga ni kama ndio wako responsible for all these things. Mm-hmm. Maana unajua ile unaenda nyumbani unasema una watu umefanya wanasema tumefanya makosa fulani hujafanya. Mm-hmm. So uko shule but my idea ni boko. Mhm. Ndio nakwambia okay tukikutana nyumbani. Yaani hivi tu tunaona tu. No. Yeah. Yeah, so wakati ni nilikuwa high school in form 1, mm-hmm. basi na ile school mbani za imba vizuri. Nilijua mimi ni mimbaji. Mm-hmm. But before nilikuwa nakimbia, nikiwa primary bado. I was good in athletics. Mm-hmm. So I mean I was confused. Watu wananiambia wewe you are a very good singer. But mimi so nilikuwa na between whether you would like yeah. to be an athlete or, or a musician. Yeah. yeah. But mimi nilikuwa na kama ni mkimbiaji. Because mm-hmm. nilikuwa nakimbia sana. Maybe hata nyaya nimekimbia nyaya stadium. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa na nilikuwa nilikuwa like sort of confused. So when I was in form 1 I met this one um, uh, uh, one of our teachers in Nakuru High. Alikuwa si you patron. Can I be excellent? You have a very nice voice. But could you please use your voice to serve God? Mimi was just doing anything called music ningefanya. I don't see kuna jali ni nini. Bora ni music. Yeah, bora unaimba. Yeah, na Mungu alikuwa amenibariki I could play drums with my hands kwa oh, days yes. kama nini. So nilikuwa na then I could imitate different you new know, voices, uh, musician yeah. voice, nilizaimba kama 
conscience kabisa yani nitoka kuniambia kuimba kama like dube like na twist voice kama hapo sikia kama mtu mbie i will i will do that i will do that mm-hmm. so mimi siko na kama ina mix because nilikuwa naona like no uh, si music ni music tu mm-hmm. yeah but uh, because nilikuwa na mashida mingi na siko sawa so akaanza kujaribu akawa anajaribu kunjua sasa hiyo point was ambia ni to directly kwamba you know that god he na he is happen yes. so like you have to kwenda pole pole Be so careful, yeah. yeah the the pattern alikuwa anajaribu kunyonyesha kwamba in this situation of yours my friend you need go to help you out of it there's another way mm-hmm. there's no other way yeah so nikaendelea hivyo na shule nikamaliza shule ah uh, wakati nilimaliza shule nilikuwa natarajia kwamba i will finish high school and then immediately go to university something funny happened wakati nilimaliza shule sifu na nyumba sifu na university na nikaeka kuchunga ngombe what you had passed nilikuwa na pass yeah uh-huh. sisi ni rende matiangi wa kwanza tulikuwa wa matiangi wa kwanza mm-hmm. sasa i could go to university with my grade because sasa sisi okay wakati wengine wanachukua na c plus wao tunakuwa anini um, yeah. uh, nini moja nyuma so wakati nilifanya high school nilikuwa nimejua kwa nataka nifanye computer and then baadaye niingie university lakini nilienda kuchunga ngombe so you can imagine being visually impaired unachunga ngombe like it how how was that for you what were your feelings what were your of course nilikuwa naona ni kama like everybody and everything just against me my own dad how mbona inakuwa hivyo like and you, you had already expressed to your dad your dreams like you want to nilikuwa nishamwambia anajua lakini sasa wakati uhusiano wangu na yeye ilianza kuimba imba from from one asa tuko nga alikuwa tuko tupatani sana let me say that tuko tunapatani sana vizuri mm-hmm. so nikawa naona asa wakati nika nikaanza kuchunga ngome nilikuwa na sasa like this is now they are killing me because you can imagine okay nilikuwa natumia nga masikio sana kuchunga ngombe unless kama shule shule zimefungwa maybe my younger brothers wana nisaidia but nikiwa peke yangu natumia masikio sasa so, shida ya kutumia masikio ni hii mko na ngombe wanne mm-hmm. unatumia masikio unasikia wanakula hapa alafu maybe mmoja ametoka you can't ameenda kukula vitu so you can't know so maybe mwenyewe akuja kushote wewe ngombe inakula uanze kukimbia towards where the nini is maybe uko na sindano ama kuna mti ama kuna anything anything can happen so i used to get injuries almost every day na hii ilikuwa it only served to even create more bitterness in my heart things got worse yeah i can come back kuchukia sasa baba yangu na chukia family yangu na chukia everybody the church i was in at uh, that time hata kuna kitu like i used to sing in church naimba sana people get blessed but even ile ndo kasapo people are being blessed but you yourself you are not feeling that sense of fulfillment yeah umeona ni kanisani mm-hmm. unatoka kanisani na shida zako in fact unatoka na shida mingi zaidi and i was expecting maybe this is the place i am supposed to get love to get loved mm-hmm. kama mel pale pale kote ime backfire at least in church i can be loved na ni feel ninapendwa but i can't happen you eh in as much as you felt that everyone else had abandoned you did you ever feel like god had also abandoned you of course in fact i remember in 2018 back at some mambo in 20, by 2018 i was so much hopeless let me tell you something 2018 nilijaribu suicide tatu three consecutive days all of them failed three consecutive days yeah nenda leo unajaribu inakata narudi kesho unajaribu ina, ina it really inakata to literally inakata like you want to die kabisa you want to die but inakata ushaona kifa na ukata hivyo mm. inakata on the third day ndo auntie yangu alinipata i think mtu alimwambia kwamba nanaanga kidana anaenda hivi asije na fanya ni so walikuja kunichunguza so on the third day alinipata my aunt akanichukua akaenda akanijaribu kuniongelesha kuni cancel kuni tie moyo but mimi naona to know so sasa kuna hii siku moja 2018 sunday I, 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 i went to church in the morning i sang very well i did practice then at night nikakaa chini nikaanza at that time my sister nime beat show na mtu me beat huna manguo uko tu lani tu you were just tattered so nikaanza kuuliza Mungu like why did i go wrong why me why am i going through all this did i do to you ushaske kutoka na Mungu like unasikia Mungu are you really there do you really exist na kama una this why allow me go this thing to happen to ukiniangalia to god why so nilijiangalisha nikilia from 7 in the in the evening sasa saba usiku nalia tu nikiuliza Mungu maswali mbona at this point nimejaribu everywhere in the pattern sada i have gone to politicians mcas telling them i have songs already naambia the only thing i need from you just support me to go to studio peke yake kama mtaki kunisaidia vitu zingine basi only do, just yeah e to only to this one because na scared like there's some potential in you which can help you actually get out of this predicament you're in mm-hmm. kwa gumaya but now inataka support kukutoa ndani but hakuna support 
I went to nilitembea ilifika mali I used to go to unaona Sunday moja nilikuwa mm. nashiriki kanza kama mbili mm. natoka hapa naenda kwa kanza nyingine naambe please support just me help music. me support me mm-hmm. believe us <laughs> i'm giving a challenge to christians let's have the true love of christ to so ngelele love do tunaongelea ongelelea love but also show love practice it practice it haikuwa haikuwa happen so ni hii point nikafika mali nilikuwa sasa the usha nimejaribu all means everything i could nimejaribu kama ni wanasiasa nimejaribu serikali nimejaribu kanisa nimejaribu individual persons wenye nilijua they have the potential they have money Nothing. nimejaribu ime fail in this fact this point where is your father now is in Nairobi niko nyumbani na mama my step mom my dad is in Nairobi still what about mama ko mzazi mama ko mzazi yako pia uko village but sasa um she, she from you know aiko sawa sana sasa hakuna hakuna kitu angefanya sana in fact let me tell you something nilikuwa naogopa kuomba mamangu vitu vingine mm-hmm. because nilikuwa na ukimwambia kitu analia ina muuma sasa nilikuwa na let me just nikufa kimwanaume tu maana nikimwambia anajaribu anatamani kunisaidia ndio mm-hmm. but she can't she doesn't she, 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 she don't have the, the you know the ability yeah. yeah so nilikuwa naanga sometimes unapita vitu i just keep quiet about it sisi mwambia akimweza kwa wewe anamwambia i'm just okay so the only thing she could do was pray for me mama mtoto wangu mungu atakungulia njia So this night ni muuliza Mungu maswali ni muuliza Mungu maswali kafika sasa baba Mungu akaniuliza one question baada ni njoo okay hapo ndo ni learn kwamba uh, Mungu aongee sana we, sp- we can speak a lot we can complain sana but God never speaks that much yes. so baada ni complain you can imagine all those hours 7 to 1 complaining 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 unasikia kutokana na Mungu then God asked me only one question are you okay with me how is your relationship with me only that na nikale kabuska dogo wakati ule tulikuwa na samaka kitu kaniambia ukasikia kitu na namna nani yeah because tulikuwa tunajua I was not mature in Christian so siku najua kama ni the holy spirit mm-hmm. but nasema kitu kaniambia so hii can hit na nikashtuka na nikaanza kujiangalia yes in as much as i'm serving god through music i'm doing this and yeah, that yeah because even wanted to ask you but they, at this time you're going to church you're even going yeah. to services in a sunday yeah. Yeah. Singing, I'm singing. They were pushing so hard for yes. music to you yeah, know go yeah. places. Yeah. But there are things that I want to try in my life. So nikaanza kuona pia mimi nilikuwa na makosa. So I repented that night. Na nikaanza mungu so from today we begin a new journey with you. So give me the grace because it is not easy. Kuna vitu fulani wewe acha hivyo tu. Ni mungu akupatie grace. So after that turn around so what what did you start doing differently? Um okay kuna vitu fulani fish fish nilikuwa nafanya. Mm-hmm. Ilibidi niwache kama kijana unajua tu wakati uko kijana kuna hizo challenges whatever mambo na ladies and all that. <laughs> so nikaona mm-hmm. Mungu now and to, to lead a straight life mm-hmm. but give me the grace. Can you imagine two weeks after that immediately two weeks nikasikia kuna mkutano wa mama unajua mama Eva Malili mm-hmm. she works in um, at Malili FM. Yes. She, uh, alikuwa anakuja hiyo place hiyo side za kwetu. So I purposed in my heart that I want to be there and if possible I want to meet her. So mimi nikaji prepare and uh, I took some boda boda man akanipeleka kule. Unfortunately nikapata hayuko ameshaondoka na there was a service that was being held mm-hmm. at 2. Uh, so niko na passion na niko na book plan nilikuwa na maandiko songs zangu so I used to walk around with it. With it yeah. In case tunipatane na nini. Mimi sana mtu nae. Maana nimejaribu kila nini nimekata so nilikuwa na eh hey, iko tu hapa kwa mkono. Mm-hmm. Ikiota na mtu na mwambie please go through those songs. Uh-huh. If you can find a way to help me please help me. So nikaenda pale nikasikia kuna waimbaji wasanii wa Malikwa it was a big event. Uh, I tried something I did I tried something so so how can I call it? Let me call it tricky. Mm-hmm. And nikaenda nikaambia uh, uh, one of the uh, receptionist kwamba I'm also a musician please. Please niandike pale niandike kwa list. Wakati as the wakati uh, natakuwa napewa nafasi ya perform pay me pay and perform also. also. Mm-hmm. Akaniangalia vile nimeka like unajua nimechapa niko TV. I am a musician. I mean, yes akana kongena nafasi akanipea nafasi i was the first person to be called now can introduce very eh ile unapewa ile intro fine kumbe at this point sina even one recorded song sina niko mimi na club yangu so what i did nikaenda kule mbele na book yangu nikamwambia guys in this book i have so many songs but i haven't recorded but uh, i'm a musician i'm a singer uh, let's be up on our feet let's just take some five minutes to worship and they began worshiping kumbuka na piano <laughs> so nika worship and this time is from my heart kumbuka mm-hmm. just weeks ago i had a turn around yeah. in my, of my life mm-hmm. so nika worship and people got blessed so after the service there was one man one, one man of god and it was pastor uh, uh, musa musi mm-hmm. akakoja akanitafuta akaniuliza excellent kanambia you have a very you know you are gifted you are talented 
we have a band na tunangeni tungependa to join mm. so hapo ndo music then yangu ikaanza sasa to change wow. so i joined the music mm. band uh, tukao tunaenda from places to places tunaimba but uh, unapewa at least 200 mm. 300 mm. ni zile bands za shango <laughs> well, at least it was a platform yeah it was a platform at least nashukuru mungu ikaanza nikaanza kuona some light mm. you know in music you need to be passionate and uh, to have patience and perseverance also. Mm-hmm. At because this point now are you feeling more encouraged and less depressed? Yeah, I'm encouraged na lakini nilikuwa nimechoka na home. Let me say that. Mhm. Nilikuwa nimechoka vibaya sana na home. Mm-hmm. So what happened? The next month nikatoka nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Na nikaenda webuye. So nikaenda webuye I was ministering at some church na also doing music at the same time. So nikafanya hiyo music music 2018 November December music 2 na tembe at least kama kupata platforms so i could mm-hmm. sing uh, kwa shule kwa high schools kwa youth conferences and all that watu wanaanza kunizuva kwa under the gift in me but still niko na ile desire burning desire i want to record i want to be yeah. a rec- nataka ni kweni tu siku moja a recording but artist were your parents now supporting bado bado, bado kuna, bado in fact nimetoka nyumbani niwaambie nilienda to the hata kujua nimeenda nilitoka home oh, okay. and i just left 2018 uh-huh. So nika jiendea tu. So wakati nimekuwa huko 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 uh, webuye 2018 nikaingia 2019. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ah uh, nilikuwa bado na misa kwa hiyo aka chacha kado I was mini setting there playing piano and also singing. Training the present worship. So there's this lady I can hear siku moja anaitwa Sophie. Akakuja kuniambia my friend you have a very very beautiful voice. Have you done any recording so far? Nikamwambia I haven't. Akaniambia I can link up I can link you up um, to somebody mimi anaweza kusaidia but ndo ndo faulu you have to go through a contest and win so i can link na kitu inaitwa talanta mashinani if oh, if yeah, you listen to my music yeah if you listen to my music inaanza na talanta mashinani uh-huh. so the contest was uh, held in kakamega uh-huh. a church called full gospel uh-huh. na nikali kama niende nikuwa one of the one of the one of the uh, participants it was uh, supposed to take place on a friday I remember and a saturday so ikafika wednesday niko webuye from webuye to kakamega is 300 shillings sinado ikwenda ikwenda contest imefika paka jioni saa kumi kesho ina find kwa kakamega sina do Nda. so something happened to nika nikasikia let me just walk around kwa hizo makanisa za imba kulikuwa na makanisa wanafanya mazoezi nikatembea ndani nika na nikapata kanisa moja nikaingia ndani na nikaanza kuimba na wao mm-hmm. so wakati nilikuwa naimba kumbe the pastor to that church alikuwa karibu na pale so she came but uh, mimi kuimba mimi nadhani nikuimba tu ya kujibamba tu akaanza kuniuliza hey yeah unaitwa nani kama excellent na nilikuwa na speed nataka nitoke nione vile naweza hasa safari ianze kuenda eh sina pesa nataka nitafute pesa na ni saa kumi na moja jioni so nataka nitoke hiyo chacha haraka nende nione vile naweza fanya nipate at least pesa i don't want to miss this contest mana it is like the only opportunity i'm having so far this is your probable breakthrough yeah akaniambia please just sit for a while nataka tuongee kidogo nikaka chini akaniambia my friend god has gift and you the know has given a, gift, a, a wonderful gift he used it to serve him mm-hmm. she gave me 1000 yes. <laughs> and that's how good my friend kakamega the following morning i took a motorbike i'm not even a vehicle motorbike mm-hmm. kakamega nikafika for gospel bado sija kwa bado sija reform sana like mavazi yangu na vile nakaa bado mm-hmm. tuneko kubit bit but na taka sana but are you starting yeah. now to see the light eh eh ni maana kuona kwa mbele yeah okay mama kuna sasa future at least ni ndio kwa mzuri. So kufika Kakamega nikapata watu people from Kakisumu everywhere even from Uganda. They were the Ugandans were there. Uh-huh. They have come for the contest. They are practicing. Watu wanaimba wanaimba wanaimba. Sasa okay, watu ule mtu alikuwa ni link yeye hey, hayuko kule. I mean link to nikaenda. Sasa hawa wanyone wananijua at least the two three wanyone wanyone wanijua wajae kusikia niki nikiimba. So wakaniangalia vile watu wakaona vile watu wanaimba alafu wakani they looked at me wakaniambia will you manage I kept quiet. So nikanyamaza tu kila mtu akafanya mazoezi yake, wakafanya the pianists were there so you just sing, they play the piano for you. Hii ni siku ya mazoezi. The contest is tomorrow. So na is imagine wakati wa mazoezi like people are trying to eh, wakwambia tuko. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here. Huko. Wakati wakati ambapo walikuliza will you manage? What was going through your mind? Uh, Did okay. you ever think like eh hey, mnaniona niko hivi because you think yeah. I cannot perform? Vile kwanza nimekaa tu kiniangalia tu vile nilikuwa nimekaa tu kuvaa na nini ungeleza rao sikai hata mwimbaji fulani hivi nakaa tu kijana fulani ametoka tu sijui wapi unaona <laughs> ya sasa siku mle, siku mblem but deep within my heart i knew you knew here kwa kama mungu kule naishi hapa nitachukua mm-hmm. so nikanyamaza tu people wakafanya mazoezi wakamaliza so it was my turn 
Okay, okay, sema, ato yota ni miata sikuwa na aja na ya sana. Nikoto ni mekamu, ni mejikalesha kando. At this time, nikoto ni mejikalesha kando. At this time, nikoto ni mejikalesha kando. At this time, nikoto ni mejikalesha kando. people will call me ni hat. So, yeah. nikoto ni mejikalesha kando. Like, all people, every human being is just the same. Mm -hmm. Ni mabaya. So, nikoto ni mejikalesha kando. Mm -hmm. So, nikoto ni So, people were, kwa one row, ni mekamu kwa 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 kwa. Nikoto ni kubwa ni mejikalesha kando. Mm -hmm. So, ndo dada mweja kasema po. Na ule kijana mekamu kwa sumpe ata makrofo na yafanya mazizi. They gave me the mic. Nifunga mdomo kuimba. Everyone. Karibu watu wende umu. Wali nyamaza. Mm -hmm. Kuna wanyo toka in fact. Kuna kwa watu ula. They left. They walked out. Na isi kuimba sana. Kiasi tunde na he left. Mm -hmm. so, si tuimbie. I'm sure you have a song. You uh, perform for us right? Yeah. yeah. The, the, okay the first day. Mm -hmm. Tukotu nafanya. I didn't tell you song. Tune liimba. Mm -hmm. um, this song that I sang on that day. That contest day. Ni song ambayo mikuwe kinikari, ikin encourage when I was down. Mm -hmm. uh, wakati sasa ni mejaribu kila kitu. Usha ya na mejaribu kipaka kife ni kukata. Ina, ya. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. ini tuno wimbu, ini kitu luka najaribu, ina nipea moyo. The words in that song. Nimba, you don't have to worry and not to be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles, they don't last always. There's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just leave to your hands and say, Oh, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand no matter what. Make up my way. My life is in your hands. You know this song? See, my about your tune. The one. Before you tell us about the song, <laughs> where? <laughs> wow. You are so gifted. Thank you are you. literally excellent. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this song, the words, the song. I cannot turn a tune. The words, you don't have to worry. Troubles don't last always. Joy comes in the no morning. No matter what comes my way. Yeah, so like you use the words, because they were many setting to me. So that's a song I song that day. And catch up So wow. the following day, in fact, that you know, day. You don't to get home. <laughs> yeah, that night, the CEO, but uh, that was my first day to sleep in a big hotel. Mm -hmm. Before the contest day, actually. Before he is coming, I was to him, but do I can't see you. Can I have my friend? Utalala ukotena. I slept in a hotel called Kamadi. It was one of the best uh, in Kakamega. It's the only room come. I mean, I'm going to say it's my first time. So I'm going to say it's my bed. I'm going to imagine guy could even though I'm going to in future. I got in the corner and I was like, I'll concerts and whatever, I'll be, eh? you know, this kind of life. Mm -hmm. So, I got to get my money to get my So, this really motivated me. The following day, I got to get a contest. I got to get my jazz. You even feeling more confident. Yeah, and I feel like... Loved. Yeah, and I got to get my money. I got to get my money. Like, I got to get my money. You got to get my money. I 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 got to get my money. Wow. So, I got to get my money. Kampala. No, not Kampala. Mbale, Uganda. Mm-hmm. We were given we were given three recording deals. Uh, number one, two, three. To record up uh, three recording deals, uh -huh. three audios, two videos. Wow! So those songs, some of them, we chose those on Billy. We have a new one, a producer called uh, Zaki Chris uh -huh. from Bala, Uganda. Uh -huh. And then the videos were done by Dr. Eddie. Up in Nairobi, too. I talk up in Nairobi. So even on the link, we kwa industry muziki sasa that's what you know kwa fast recording yangu ya kufanya kwa muziki uh -huh. na from there i can tell you my sister ni kama kupata matumaini so he thought yeah you know like uh, i'm blind you don't remember how you can't go nyondoka pole pole ni kama kuna okay i can make it in life i can use the gifts and the abilities god has given unto me uh -huh. to you know pursue my careers no na god is god is, was building you yeah, for something yeah na ni kama kukumbuka kambo fulani kana 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 ni ka 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 si na limba ati mungu anakutengeneza ushuhuda so mm -hmm. usilie hizo vitu tunapitia ni mungu anakutengeneza ushuhuda na kama kuna for real this is mm -hmm. a testimony mm -hmm. sasa nilikuwa nikikaa peke yangu naanza kuniambia hata nikipitia a hard situation naambia mungu a hii ni shuhuda una una so ina nikwa ina kama kujitia sasa mmoja but then nilikuwa bado sija heal like naona watu ni mabaya bado mhm so nilikuwa tazama some counseling na nini vitu kama hiyo ile you now sorry how are you now Yo, it's I. Uh -huh. I say I'm okay. I'm mm -hmm. very much okay. Mm -hmm. Healed, fine. Healed, fine. Your relationship with your people. The, the, I went back last, Nini, home last year, December. Oh. Uh, I just went there to tell my daddy and my mom, come, I forgive you. They were to come, I was so bitter with the people. But uh -huh. today, I've come. 
Let's so, begin a new page. Oh, nice. So at, at that time when you were going back home, had you started going for counseling therapy and all that? Uh, Lilifanyo counseling na some people in Mabuye. Uh -huh. Okay. Kuna, 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 kuna watu wengine counseling yeye yinafo wa fanyi siye kwa ambia. Tuwa tuma wa culture chini na ambia. You know, excellent. Mutuka mimi mi yosetin. Likuwa ndani yu ingen za idea. Okay, talk to me, yes. But show me. Actions. Mm -hmm. Actions. Speak louder than words. So, when I was in Chukua, I was in the hotel, I was in the hotel, I was They try to make me laugh. I mean, I was in the hotel, 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 I was in you have to forgive your parents. Mm -hmm. But this time, I'm by a one minister, a prophet from Uganda. Mm -hmm. I was meeting him for the first time in, a conf in some conference in Bongoma. Mm -hmm. Philip Lotimo. I remember his name to date. He told me, my friend, God has put a very big ministry in you. But surrender. And again, you have to forgive, forgive and forget. Yes. This is a person I've never met before. He doesn't mm -hmm. know me. In fact, he's not a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. And an MBA, forgive and forget. I can imagine you can imagine me, me, nani. And forget, worst of all, even forgetting. Forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, 2018, 2019, 2020, I'm going to have bitterness. Until, mm -hmm. but there, I can say, I'm going to 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 say, i so when I was a man, 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 TV stations in Western. When they saw come upon a like, yeah, and I scared to quote, hey, your son, your son, your son, your son. Your son, your yeah. son is doing you proud. Yeah, so I come upon some value in me. Now I come back, you know, who could be a different vote at the Bunay. And I found out because now we are great, great friends. friends. Now, as we wind up, a Tommy Kusu, your music, <sighs> your new song. Okay. Uh, so uh, my last recording nilifanya recently mm -hmm. inaitwa baba na kupenda mm -hmm. tatanze kwa gara ni kiganda mm -hmm. uh, uh, niko na audio but i'm planning to do a video very soon i'm mm -hmm. planning to go for finances mm -hmm. and i'll be releasing the video very soon mm -hmm. very soon as in very soon mm -hmm. within this year unaweza tupigia hapa akapela kidogo mhm mm sawa okay tatanze kwa gara na mshamini na kupenda nzendi mwana wo Goli tata wange, that's Luganda. The song goes, Tata, nze kwa gala. Tata, nze kwa gala. Nze ni mwana wo. Goli tata wange. Nze ni mwana wo. Goli tata wange. So that's the chorus part of it, the first part. I love you, kona climax ya Yesu. Na kupenda, Yesu, ni na kupenda, Jesus, I love you, Jesus, I love you. Okay, let me say something about this song. Okay, in it, Baba ni na kupenda. Okay, the reason why I sang that song, ni kamba from the time I was away from home, God has been my father. Yes. I mean, kwa na juu ni na kula. Ninaka, ninalala. So, nikaona like, nikaona mwane nikama ni baba. So, that's why I came up with that song. And I bless the Lord for this wonderful thing he's done for me. Wow. Excellent. Thank you so much for your story. Thank you so much for, you know, I'm sure you've encouraged so many people out there. So, tumishukuru sana. We have come to the end of the conversation. Thank you. Ungependa kuambi, you have 20 seconds to give your last words. And also tell us where we can get you on your social media platform okay thank you very much for having me today 
there's something I'd like to tell persons living with disabilities in our country and even in the, in the let me say in the world. Mm -hmm. The fact that you don't have eyes to see doesn't mean that you cannot sing. The fact that you're crippled does not mean that you don't have the brains to grab concepts in class. Mm -hmm. So realize the abilities God has given unto you. Maintain self-high esteem. Have self-confidence in you and mm -hmm. you will make it. And to the society, please handle these guys with respect. Show them love. We can Actually, we are no longer disabled. Nowadays, we call ourselves differently able differently. I'm a, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, Mr. Maibo. Mm -hmm. uh, so please, like, let's have integration in our society. Mm -hmm. um, you can find my music on YouTube at Minister Excellent Motali. Uh, Facebook, Excellent Motali Bado. Instagram, Excellent Motali. Twitter, Excellent Motali. Mm -hmm. And um, YouTube, YouTube, I don't know, Minister, Minister Excellent Motali. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just type Excellent Motali. Wow, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I appreciate it. So, if you want, I mean, let's go support uh, Minister Excellent Mutali on his music and all his platforms. Meshkru Sana, even uh, the fact that he's come to share with us uh, his journey. We will be coming back after this short break, but we have an amazing conversation. We are talking about men, men's mental health, and SGBV against men. Today, we get to appreciate the male figure in the society, so stay tuned.